Okay. What do you know about simple present? What is simple present then? I mean, how we use simple present in English, how we use it. Do you know simple present? Yes. yes. So, can you give a, an example by using to be? Give me an example. I am sick. I'm sick, you say. It's good. You say, let's write with this. You say like, I am sick. Yeah? We use like is there in general forms, I mean in simple present, we have to use I am. Okay? Last time we talked about it, there were some guys that didn't come here. So let's say, I am sick. What else? We are children. We are children. Okay, we are children. In here, we're talking about simple present tense with to be forms. Very important, okay? So, always we're using to be. Can you tell me to be's? What are those? M? Yes, that's all. Right. M is R. With those, sometimes we're using some uh, things. Do you know A and and? Mm. A and N. Do you know it? Mm -hmm. What is this? No, A and and. You know this, there? Eh? What is this one? And what is this one? An apple. It means like an apple, I mean one, eh? Talking about the one, the number of it. Eh, like this. He's a doctor. You know this, eh? It's easy. He's a doctor. What else we say? What about this one? N or A? N. 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 Why we use this one and this one? Because of the E. We use A because of the D. In English, we call these vowels. Okay, vowels. Vowels. Vowels, we have how many vowels? A. Okay, A. E, e, I, I U, U, what else? O. o. These are right. Sometimes we have a hidden Y, but we don't use it that much. So A, E, I, U, O. These are vowels in English. After this, you have to use N. Okay. These are followed by Okay. You understand? Give me an example then. <laughs> it's important. But a, a, a university. A university, you say. Okay. We say, I said you before. A. You say a university. A. You say N or a university? A university. A university. You say a university because it's not like a U. It's like a U. university. University. Okay. In here, in, in speaking, we use a, like in this one. For example, what is this? R. How many class, how many hours this class will take? How many hours this class will take? Stop. Two hours. Two hours. Today, yeah? yeah? Two hours. We say two hours. Why we say this? Because we say two hours. Let's suppose it say one, a hour. A hour. We don't say, we, we can say one hour. One hour means actually, if you say one hour, it's kind of the same, a hour. Yeah? Why we say a hour, one hour? Because when you read this, it's not like an hour. It's like an hour. Hour. You, s you say like an hour. You say like a this. These two comes together, yeah? Kind of like compose. You say hour, hour. You don't say hour. hour. Okay. We say hour. For this, we have to use a. We don't use this one, an hour. We say an hour. Understand? So normally you, normally you should say an hour. Yeah, because this is H. This is not here. We say H. 
Yeah? So we should say now, we read, in, we speak in pronunciation, we should say our. We say our, that's why you should say an hour. Like this, like intonation is different, you understand? Sometimes it's changed. Like you say university, a university. Normally N, N university, but we don't say N university, it's A university. Sometimes. Okay, there some kind of exceptions. There are some exceptions. What else? She's her energy. She's her energy. Yes. So you say she's a manager or an manager? You say a manager because M. Okay, we have vowels. One, two, three, four, five. What about others? How do we call them? Consonant. Okay, these are vowels. Rest of it, I mean others. Other letters. Okay, I mean these are, this is letter. 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 So other letters, except these ones, we call them consonant. You understand? For example, this is a consonant. Yeah? D is a consonant. Normally, H is a consonant, but this, the pronunciation is R, we should say an R. Okay. You, because in pronunciation, we say like this, R, R. That's why. Second letter is important. You understand? An R. When will you, when will you come here? In an hour. When will you come to my house? I guess in an hour. Say. When, you, when will this class start? In a one hour. In an hour. In an hour. You can say in a one hour. Okay. You say in a one hour. In an hour. Or you can say in one hour. They are the same thing actually. Okay. We say in an hour. We don't say in an hour. Understand? It's easy. So we have this kind of structures. This is basic. This is very simple, huh? What about the negative forms of this? It isn't adaptive. Yeah. Negative forms. He isn't adaptive. This is easy. So you just put NT. He isn't. I am not. Okay, they aren't like this. So by the way, we say what letters? So A, B, C, D, all alphabets, all alphabets kind of were created by letters, right? All alphabets were created by letters. There are letters in alphabets, you understand? A is a letter, B is a letter, C is a letter. So also a letter, if you say letter, what is letter? What? Where do you use these letters? Where do you use? When do you use these letters? When do you use these letters? When? Why we use it? To write. Yeah. We writing. For example, I'm writing like negative. I'm, I'm using it negative. So uh, this is a letter. I'm using letters. Do you know what another meaning of letter is a noun? Do you know? Sometimes you write letters to your friends. Do you understand her in Turkish? Okay, in Turkish, you know this. So we use letters and it's also a letter because you're using letters to write it. Its name is, specific name is letter, easy. Okay, we, this is a noun. This is a noun. Okay, because in in letter we use we use letters to write. So it is actually a letter. You writing your friends, you writing your uh, mom, maybe some soldiers in the army writing letters to their parents. Huh? Mom, I will. I miss. I, I miss you. I will come soon. Yeah. Uh, maybe couples. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, boyfriend, girlfriend, Jew. So letter, okay. <laughs> so do you, do, do you write letters? Do you write letters? Sometimes? 
Have you ever? <laughs> Email, not a letter. OK. We call it isn't. So this is easy. I will just so quick. What about aren't? We have aren't. For what? Plurals. Plural. What are the plural, plural subjects? What are plural subjects? Plural, plural subjects. Ah. They. they. You and we. So we, you, and they. Yeah? I'm showing them. They. Easy? This is important. After this, we, we actually, what are the to be for us? Aren't or are. This is negative, this is positive, yeah? Affirmative, I mean. What about uh, singulars? Singulars are he, she, it. And after those, we use isn't or is. That's easy. Any point here you don't understand? No problem, huh? Okay, this is easy. I'm just showing you the basic things first. Okay? What about question form? Tell me the question form, so quick. Question form? Are ah, you teacher? <laughs> it's good. Let's say, are you teacher or are they, are they friends? I'm sure, are they friends? Yes, they are friends. How we answer it? Yes, they are. Or, no, they aren't. Yes? Are they friends? Yes. I'm sure, yeah, they are friends. They are friends. Ah, they are friends. We say like this. Now, this is to be version. It's not that hard. We should to know here N and A. A. Okay. These are kind of confusing sometimes, but it's not important. Uh, by time, I mean, uh, which time you will make it so quick. It's, it will it, you will keep it in mind. No problem. Okay. Easy. You understand? What about the verb? How we use verbs? Okay, simple present has, has got two structure. To be, this is easy one. What about others? Verb. Okay, we have verb. Which verb? We have what? Helping verbs. V help? What is help? You help somebody, yeah? Can you help me, mom? Or can you help me, my sister, to do homework? So if helping verb, it helps you to make a sentence. Helping verb. OK, what is the helping verb of the simple present? In to be, we say to be, yeah? This is a helping verb, am, is, are. I, as a verb, do and does. Yeah? So they help us. They help us to make a sentence. Okay, it comes from here. This is helping words. What is helping verb? Do and does. This is easy. Okay? This is very easy. How we make sentence? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? What else? I teach English. I teach English. You listen to me. You listen to me. What else? I love you. Yeah? Is it? Do you love me? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, it's a good sentence. So, so, where we use helping verbs? Actually, we can put here helping verbs. Okay, in, you, you understand helping verbs, right? In high English, in advanced English, we call them also auxiliaries. Two names, helping verbs or auxiliaries, they are the same thing. OK, what is do and does? Auxiliaries. OK, do, does, or auxiliaries, we can say. Where we use this? Where we use this? I mean, where do we use simple present? So, where we use? So, we can say something like this. Where we use do does. I mean, simple present. Where we use it? Mm. 
daily routines, everyday expression, everyday sentences we use it. What else? Just guess. Repeated actions is true. An action always repeating. So what, what is that, an action always repeating? For example, daily actions. You brush your teeth. Yeah? Brush your teeth. So this is an actually it every day happen, yeah? This is every day happening. So repeating every day. What else? This class. For example, every Monday you have a class. Every Monday. So this is what? Repeating. Every, every week. Every week. What else? So uh, every day you have a breakfast at the morning. Every morning. Every morning you have a breakfast, yeah? So this is actually, we say. What else? What? Every work. Work. Every day you're working. What else? We can say maybe. Permanent situation. Permanent. So there are two types of two types of what? Tattoos. Okay, the cat is coming by the way. <laughs> so there are two types of tattoos. You can have a tattoos. So what kind of tattoos do you have? Temporary and permanent. Temporary, it will disappear, it will go, maybe in one year, okay? Sometimes young girls have tattoos here, teenagers, that tattoos in two days, in three days, goes away. You know this? You wash and wash, it goes. Is that, is that temporary? Temporary. Permanent, it's always here. Okay, whole life, 20 years, 30 years, it's here. Do you have permanent tattoos? Do you have permanent tattoos? Maybe, maybe your sister and brothers? They don't. So it's good. Permanent situation. We say repeated actions and daily routines. Okay. What about this one? Yes. It's good. General facts, actually. Or you can say... Uh, Scientifical. Scientifical? Facts, actually. Facts. Do you know what is fact? For example, there is a rumor. For example, my girlfriend cheat me. Okay? My girlfriend cheat me. Somebody say to me. My friend say, your girlfriend cheating you with other boys. I'm saying, tell me the fact. It means true. Tell me the truth. This is the truth. General truths. You understand? General. Everybody knows it. Okay. General truths. So scientific facts. Okay. What is that? What is that? Scientific truths. What is uh, the water? The water. What's happening? Water when you put in a hundred Celsius. When you put water a hundred Celsius in the pot, what's happened? A hundred Celsius. 90, 100, so what's happening? Water is boiling. Boiling. Uh, 100 degrees. Celsius, actually, we call it. Okay? So you say true. It's true. So it's a general truth. Because it's true. Everybody knows it. Huh? So you say the water. Boils. Okay. Because the water is. You're talking about it. It always does. Okay. You understand? The water boils. So I, you, we, they, what? Only the verb. I sleep, you sleep, they sleep, we sleep. Okay. She sleeps, sleeps. He sleeps. The cat sleeps. Okay. The duck sleeps. People sleep. Okay. The water eats. So he, she eats, 
are followed by s, verb s. So as you see here, the water boils. We can say at 100 Celsius. You see, this is a scientific fact. Yeah, everybody knows it. What else? Everybody knows it. It's a general. It's a general fact. Gen actually, we call it general, uh, you can say, like consensus. Everybody knows this. OK? So you know, uh, the water boils at 100 degrees. What plus else? Two, four. <laughs> two plus two, two, plus two four. is four. So 2 plus 2 is 4. You, you use simple plus. You use to be, yeah? 2 plus 2 is 4. <laughs> it's good. Very good. This is a scientific fact. What else? Yes. You see, one, one week is? Six days. Are you sure? Seven. Seven, <laughs> seven days. Cameras are recording. <laughs> so. Okay. You can, you can maybe say. Okay. We, we, we say general facts. General facts. Okay. It's happening every time. General facts. What else? What else? Everybody knows it. <laughs> I have. I, if I'm alive, I have a mother. Okay. In my life, if I'm here talking, I have a mother. The general facts. Okay, I have a sister. Okay. Permanent situation. Permanent situation. Permanent, it's always there. For example, my tattoos. Okay. Okay. Is a permanent. Permanent situation in your life. What is permanent? The I A's you. My eyes. My eyes are are blue. You. This opening, or you can say also I have a, I have a mother. Yes. Yeah. Maybe she dies. Maybe alive. Doesn't matter. I have it. Okay. I don't say I don't have a mother. I have it. Yeah. Or if you live somewhere for a while. How we say? You, where do you live? Where do you live? What do you say? This is I live in Istanbul. Istanbul. So you say, I live in Istanbul. This is a permanent situation. Maybe two years, five years, you live here. Okay? Very important. Okay, permanent situation. What about repeated actions? So we, in repeated actions, we have, uh, for example, once uh, and twice. We say, okay, once a day, once a week, once a year, okay, once a month. You can say, it's so important. So what we say, once a day, once a week, once a year, once a month. Okay, twice a day, twice a week, twice a year, twice a day. These are one and two times, okay? Once means one. Two times, two times, okay? How many times, how many times do you take shower in a day? Once. 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 Say once. once, okay? In a week? So if, if, if a day, once, <laughs> twice? It's impossible. You say one day, once, seven day, seven times. So we say seven times. Okay. Seven times. So in first, we say once, twice, and then we say three times, four times, five times, six times. They don't like this. Only for, for one time and two times, we have spatial expressions. Okay, once and twice. For others, we say three times, four times, five times. They don't change. You don't say seven times. No, seven times. Okay. 
Uh, how many times do you go travel in a year? So, twice, twice a year. Twice a year. Yes, twice a year. It's very good. Very good. How many times do you drink water in a day? Mm -hmm. Two bottles. <laughs> Two bottles. Maybe, maybe 11 times, 10 times, 12 times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, a glass of water. Okay? It's easy. How many times do you watch movies? In a day. In a day is not a good question. In a week, let's say in a week. Two films. Two films or two times. It means twice. So twice a week, huh? Twice a week. Two times you watch movie with your family. Do you watch alone or do you watch with your family? Family or alone? Alone. It's why? <laughs> Naughty, huh? Yeah? He, he, he or she, your children? He, two. Two children, they are naughty. Naughty? Naughty? Always like this. Okay. Energetic. Don't, don't, don't behave. Okay, kids, kids don't behave. Never sit down. Always. Okay. Naughty. Same. Okay. We understand. General facts, permanent situation, repeated actions. How we use repeated actions? For example, so for here, for here, you say, I go to school twice a week. So I learn English twice a week. Yeah? You will learn English twice a week, two times in a week. Okay, two times in a week. Very important. Give me an action, repeated action. I wake up early. I wake up early. But I mean, this is true. This is repeated, this is daily routines. You say, I wake up early. It's good. It is also here, okay? It's repeating every time. But give me like this. Make sentence like this. I go home every day. Every day. Repeated action. Every day, twice a day. So you can also say every day. We have time expressions. What is that? Every day. What else we have? So you can say every week, year, yeah? Every month. Every month. You can. Maybe every season. Every season? Season. How many seasons we have? So winter, summer. Winter is coming. <laughs> we, say, uh, we don't say winter is coming. So we say winter is... You can say winter is coming. You can say winter is... Onset. I mean starts. Okay. So, winter is on set. The class is on set. The class is on set. Starting. Very good expression. Okay, you should say. Is the, is on, is on, is the on set. You can say also, is on set, we say. Okay, winter is on set. I mean, winter is coming. Okay, on set. It's good expression. It kind of means starting. Okay. Here we can say, these are expressions. Can you give me uh, these expressions like this, twice a week, once, once a year? I run every week. Every week. Okay. I drink uh, twice a day tea. No. I drink tea twice a day. So I drink tea twice a day. I mean two times in a day. She drinks what? She drinks what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Tea. Drink she drinks tea. <laughs> okay. Twice a day. Twice, twice a day. Two times in a day. Twice means two. Two times in a day. She drinks coffee. She drinks tea. You can say. Easy. You also listen. <laughs> you also listen to us. <laughs> it's good. 
drink beer, huh? <laughs> yeah, for example, some people say, uh, I drink beer, I drink beer five times in a week. Five times in a week. Okay, maybe two times in a day. So Irish people actually, they like to drink maybe five times, six times in a day. In a day, wow. It's good for them. At the morning they start till the night. Okay, understand? By the way, we have an expression for that. So dusk and down. Down and dusk. What is dusk and what is down? Down. It is not down. <laughs> it's a down. It's a down. So the dusk, dusk means uh, by, I mean, you can say maybe six, seven. This is evening. This is uh, by five, six o'clock, six o'clock. This is six, seven o'clock evening. This is five, six o'clock uh, morning. So down, down means a. Uh, the sunshine, the sun coming, the sun will appear. Okay, sun coming. You can see sun. Understand? This is the sun goes. Sun goes down. Okay, that time. Dark coming. Okay, sun coming. You understand? Early morning, downtime. Down. Very important. These are two. Okay. Dusk and down. Down is uh, morning, okay? So, hey, so do you go work at downtime? Downtime? Do you dusk? Do you dusk? <laughs> do you do you go work? <laughs> so some people go work at they, they, they downtime, huh? Downtime, and very early in the morning. Some people very early, yeah. They sleep maybe four hours, four hours, five hours, yeah? So do you go work at dusk time mostly? No. What time do you go home? Uh, yes, dusk time. Dusk time, six, six seven. Six, 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 seven. So when, when you go here, that it's not dark, huh? No. It's not dark, <laughs> daytime. But today, not dusk time, huh? It will be night. After this, the night starts. Okay, well, I mean eight, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. It's night is starting. You understand these ones? Very easy. So now this, I don't want to show a grammar that much. I don't like grammar that much, but it's important. We have some usage: general facts, permanent situation, repeated actions, and daily routines. These are important. I will show you more. There are some other usages also. Okay. Very important. Yes, daily routines. So. I want, I want somebody, I want somebody now to talk about his or her daily routines. Okay, can you talk about your daily routine? Daily routine, what are you doing at the morning and till night? For example, I wake up at uh, 12 o'clock actually, okay, sometime, I mean today. I woke up, I wake up, I will tell you the story which Simple present. I wake up at 12 o'clock. I go to work at 1 o'clock. I have lunch at work. I have lunch. You know lunch? Okay, noon time you eat. I have lunch at 1.30. 1.30. You know what is 1.30. So after that, I drink tea. So I work. I have classes. And then I leave the work at uh, kind of dusk time, I leave the work and I go home, I sleep at 10 o'clock. What about yours? Drive a car. Drive a car. Okay, let's say, who will, you can do it. What time do you wake up? Eight. Eight. Eight in the morning, very early, yeah. Eight o'clock. And I drive in 
I drive to work, drive to work. You come in here, I mean, by the car. You, I drive to work, you say. Okay, you drive to work, what else? What time, what time do you have a lunch? I have lunch? Nine. So you have lunch? You have You have lunch? 1 p.m. I have you have lunch. You have lunch alone or with your friends? Sometimes. Alone. Alone. Sometimes. With friends. Okay. What what time do you go to work? Do you go to home, sorry? Around eight o'clock. Around eight o'clock. You go. He's early one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about you? I sleep here. Yes. It's changeable. You say it depends the day. I mean, it depends the customers. Customers of work, huh? Yes. Is important. It's it depends on the work. It's changeable. What about yours? You say you sleep here. <laughs> In here, right here, in the ho in this conference hall. <laughs> How do you sleep? <laughs> okay. You should speak. It's important. You should know this uh, simple person. If you don't know this, you can speak English. First, this one. I will teach you more things. In next class, I will teach you some speaking expressions. But first, just know this, okay? It's important. I think every day of I wake up. I wake up at six o'clock and I go to office and I drink coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I work <laughs> customers <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay I have I will lunch uh, eight of the and work uh, I go to home uh, seven o'clock seven o'clock seven o'clock you go to home seven o'clock so it's good, actually. You have time at home. At least you have time at home to, to drink tea with your family, to watch TV. Yeah, you have time. Also, you have time. It's good. But imagine you go home 10 o'clock, so you sleep directly. You sleep, no time for parents, no time for friends. Yeah? It's important. Very important, we say. These are easy. Huh? What about time, by the way? Okay, <laughs> let's let's have a let's have a break time, break time, yes. for ten minutes, and then we will continue. Okay. okay.